Hi guys, as you know, what do you call it, the last few months I've been getting into bike rafting, pack rafting, whatever you want to call it um, and I realized there isn't many uh, videos, well actually I haven't found any videos on YouTube on how to pack uh, your bike fully loaded uh, onto a pack raft. Now so what I'm basically going to do is Joe flew in, we've been just off the Ho Chi Minh Trail a couple of days, we spent almost three weeks out there scouting the Ho Chi Minh Trail, we were pike rafting, pack rafting, hiking, crying in the jungles, amazing experience, unbelievable. So. What he's going to do now is uh, Joe's going to um, do a tip, review, take it whatever way you want it. I mean, as I say, there's not much out there. There's many ways to do it. This is just the way Joe does it. Um, and we're lucky enough Joe brought over the, the new Rogue Light, which is awesome. Right? So, okay. Here we go. Go for it now. Hi, Mark. This is our new boat. Um, I had some input on this boat. I was really excited about it. Uh, Kelly came up with some really amazing, uh, innovative ideas. One, we have a raised deck. Get your butt out of the water when you're scooting over the rocks. Um, another thing was, uh, maybe I shouldn't talk about the, this, how the boat is built. Yes. So, well, uh, this is yeah, the why not? bottom. <laughs> yeah. And this boat is super, super light. It rolls up. I wish I had one rolled up for you, but we've been playing on the beach all day long. Uh, showing people how these boats work and how great they are, but it rolls up the size of a paper towel roll I have pictures on uh, Facebook that that show that and that they've been surfacing around Anyway today, I'm going to show you how I put a bike on a pack rack. Now this pack rack was specifically designed for bike packing um, There's lots of different ways to do it uh, if you're taller than me I'm 5.6 so if you're taller than me, I suggest you take off the rear wheel and uh, the front wheel. Um, I usually just take off the front wheel. Depending on the water conditions and stuff like that, how much weight I'm, I'm carrying, I'm, it's quite functional for me just to pull off the front wheel. It saves a lot of hassle. Um, first thing I do is extract the, the front wheel, get it, break it loose. Also, I, what I would like to do, maybe this would be a good point to, to uh, point out how I carry it on my bike. So I carry my my paddles right here. These are my paddles. They're a four-piece carbon fiber made by uh, Warner. Um, I like to think that I inspired them to make these paddles. I begged and begged and begged. Well, now they finally make them. So they're super, super lightweight. Great for bike packing. Um, you see, I can put them right in my back of my camelback. Another thing, like this bag right here, I can carry my tent. I can carry my pack wrap. Um, I can also carry. Uh, my sleeping bag, all in this bag, made by bike bag dude. Thanks. <laughs> and, uh, so anyway, yeah, that we all like goes bike in bike this dude. right here. So I take my bike, make sure my water bottles are tight uh, because they have been, uh, they will fall out if they're cold. So make sure you're, uh, if you have the relevant feed bags. Another thing is uh, I take it, lift it up. Set the bike on there. And I know you're saying, he's got his wheel on. Well, now I take my wheel off. If you're doing your front wheel and your rear wheel, you want to tip your bike upside down, pull your garment off so it doesn't get all scratched up. Tip your bike upside down and then take your wheel off. Put my skewer back in. I run a dyno hub, so make sure you disconnect your dyno hub before you pull that wire out, for obvious reasons. Okay, well first thing I want to do is I want to capture my bar, I want to try and get my bar out of the water, okay? <coughs> So I'll pull this string from here, grab it through the frame. Come up, grab my brake. What 
type of knob do you put in it? I'm just doing a half hitch. Okay. And when I finish it, I'll do a series of three half hitches. I just did one now to grab it. See, I got that propped in between here. If you're not running a water bottle in here, this platform is gonna set down a lot flatter, but see, I have my water bottle on, right. or my, one of my spare water bottles. Now I'll come down on the Copapelli pack raft, the, the rope has four tie points. Almost all our boats, except for the Hornet Light, has four tie points. And so now I'm coming up here, going underneath. I'm gonna capture this tie point underneath here. Okay. And you're just using string, no straps. You find strings a lot better yeah, than the straps. This is parachute cord. And what I do is I run, for every bike packing trip I've ever done, it seems like six foot of parachute cord on each side is plenty. So 12 feet in total, yeah, uh, what do you two call it? six footers will capture a bike, everything you need to capture. Okay. So now I'm doing a series of three half hitches underneath here to the front tie. And if anybody on YouTube doesn't know how to do those knots, you can easy find that. Just search online. There's yep. plenty of what he calls information on how to do it. I'll show you in a couple of minutes uh, when I bring the other tie around, the other lead from the other side. So I got this side captured. Now this is going to be my tightening line. That's your other six foot line, yeah? This is my six foot line on the other side. See how I grab that? Front wheel, so now the wheel is grabbed from both sides. I've went through the frame, I've grabbed the frame. I'm capturing the front tie down point again. I'm coming back up, I'm grabbing the rim one more time. You see I'm snug in this thing, see how I'm shaking it up? Each time I'm shaking it, it's getting a little bit more snug. Now I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna capture this line. Okay. And I'm gonna do a series of three half hitches. And look how much line, out of that 12 foot of line I have on this boat, look how much I have left over. Just plenty. Yeah, plenty of line. Yeah, when so. we when we first done it, uh, without watching anything like or asking you questions online, we were using straps, and they were more heavier. And it was this is sweet. This is just much more yep. easier. I have friends that I highly respect who are in the bike packing also, and they also use their straps. They'll use these bowler straps, which I absolutely love. If you're into bike packing, invest in some bowler straps. They're great. They're adjustable, everything keeps tight. I've used them down to 60 below zero when I've ridden across, uh, halfway across Alaska. Okay. So when you got the boat all tied down, you see, oh, look at, he's got his wheel hanging way over here. This boat's gonna sit all cockeyed in the water. Well, I've got most of my weight on this side, this front corner of the bike, and so it's actually gonna sit level in the water. And even if it doesn't, if it's a little bit off camera, by the time I get into this boat, it's gonna sit really, really level. Okay. Now, first thing, before you put it in the water, last thing you do, you pick it up. See how stable this is? Nothing is shifting. If this bike is shifting on this uh, boat, what's going to happen is uh, you are going to... Uh, I grab my paddle. You're going to wear holes in the boat. You're going to wear your equipment. So I carry my, my paddles on my down tube. As you see me, I'm pulling them out right now. I got them really, really tight. Yeah, when we used to, what we done was we had them in the front roll bag, but we switched it to the, the down tube. But the only reason we were able to do that was because of these straps that Joe was talking about. These are just badass straps. So, you know, um, that way we were able to get a really tight fit without any nylon or anything leaking. So. As I say, you know my videos, it's just rough, one cut, and we see what happens, and then just post it, so... Uh, Joe's grabbing the other um, paddles from the same company that make Rogue Light. Um, These are entry-level four-piece paddles made by Copa Kelly. This is our design. These paddles uh, are pretty affordable. They retail. It's a four-piece paddle with a Carmen shaft on it. Fully adjustable, as you can see. This paddle retails for about a hundred and a quarter, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Which... For a four-piece paddle with a carbon shaft that's fully adjustable, that is blow me away amazing. Yeah, we got what he called. Uh, we we just picked up ones from Amazon, thirty bucks beforehand, and we there's a big difference in the feel. As soon as he brought these over for us, and we were able to go through the water much more smoother. So um, we'll be keeping a set of these Capellas for sure. Um, that's a game changer, you know. And they're adjustable, so if you have 
if you like the furls to be at, at a certain angle, it, it's all there. You can do that. Yeah, yeah, it's like the old way in the canoes years ago. Well, so. Mark, thank you very much for all your help today. It's been a great. Where, where is this beautiful city that we live in? That you live in? <laughs> well, you've been living here for a. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. So they are building and building and building. So what do you yep. call it? Oh. So. It just show you how level it is. Watch what he says. It's actually totally correct. So it's out of the water. A little bit of touching, but not too serious. So thanks for watching, guys. What he called. I uh, hope this information helped. Showed you how to put it on. I learned a few things when Joe was here. Oh, just lost my slipper or my flip flop. Okay, learned a few things with Joe. Was here. We've just finished the Ho Chi Minh Trail. Uh, we bike packed through caves. We've done rivers uh, underneath blowing up bridges. Um, unbelievable experience. There's Pavro sitting recovering, you know, because he went into a further part of the Ho Chi Minh Trail, which I said was nuts, but he went in anyway and he survived. <laughs> and Sang is hiding for some reason. Yeah, you know. She's our uh, 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 rafting model. She, no, she's our mascot or something, isn't it? Mascot. Because like, well. you have to have a little tiny mascot. There. Bikini mascot. Bikini mascot, yeah. So, what are you doing anyway? <laughs> uh, oh, just hiding from the sun. Yeah. When, when, when Pablo says it's lunchtime for her, what he actually really means is it's lunchtime for Pablo. We all know. Yeah. Oh, Joe just got him. Joe, you ready to go down the river? <laughs> just take the boat right around. We'll meet you on the other side. Actually, we're going to the bar. All right. And Joe will get some lunch and his soda. <laughs> but as you see, it's actually completely level from that point. So, all right. And Thank you, got you Mark. All right, no worries, man. All right, guys. Have a good one. Lost my flip flop again. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. And hopefully, see you next time. Oh. That's it. Right, hold on. She's rough, she's beautiful, she's good.